During this training video, we are going to learn how to use Compact Modem, an accessory designed to ease gastric fluid aspiration and GRV's measurement in a closed system. Compact Modem is placed in between the feeding tube and the administration set and can be divided into four main parts. Patient side connection with N-fit distal end and removable N-lock adapter, syringe connection with N-fit medication port and cap, drainage bag connection with funnel connector and cap, administration set connection with N-fit twist lockable connector. Compact modem can be connected to most enteral feeding as well as funnel type drainage tubes. Leave the white adapter in place to connect to funnel type Levin tubes, Salem sumps and N-lock feeding tubes. Compact modem also has the new enteral specific N-fit connector. Remove the white adapter to connect to N-fit feeding tubes. Screw the N-fit connectors together. Compact modem is compatible with N-fit administration sets. If applicable, remove any adapter from the administration set. Before use, ensure all connections are secure and not over-tightened. Compact modem enables closed system gastric residuals aspiration into a drainage collection bag. It reduces exposure to gastric fluids and their smell and lowers the risk of external as well as patient contamination. Compact modem features two three-way connectors which allow to select flow path and easily switch between enteral feeding, medication delivery and GRV's management. Feeding. GRV aspiration. GRV collection into a bag using a syringe. GRV collection into a bag using gravity. GRV reintroduction into the stomach using a syringe. GRV reintroduction into the stomach using gravity. Medication, administration and or flushing. Use an appropriate sized N-fit syringe to aspirate GRVs. Screw the N-fit syringe onto the N-fit medication port. Alternatively, use the medication port adapter to connect to lure, N-lock or oral syringes. Attach the drainage collection bag to the funnel port. Before use, ensure all connections are secure and not over-tightened. Pause nutrition delivery and adjust the three-way connector to redirect the flow path to the syringe. Aspirate gastric residuals using the syringe. Adjust the three-way connectors to redirect the flow path from the syringe to the gastric collection bag. Push the syringe contents into the gastric collection bag. This operation can be repeated until the stomach is empty. G 
GRVs may be reintroduced into the stomach by using gravity or by reversing this process. Prior to resuming feeding, flush with 10 to 20 milliliters of lukewarm water and ensure all three-way connectors are in the correct position.